One. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the podcast that brings you raw and original takes on a wide range of sports and entertainment. It's your boy Henny Dre. It's John John. And this is the fan perspective. And we ain't got all the facts. Nope. But we all gonna keep it a hundred with all the opinions that we do give. One zero zero at a zero one thousand. We back, man. Episode one seventy one. So her. We on Fam TV on YouTube. Go subscribe, man. Yeah, Check out all the content we got on there. I just figured out how to make posts on there, so you know, post just like Facebook or whatever. Like, go check out that stuff. So, go check out the latest freestyle, the latest episodes. Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just run them numbers up. You heard? If you like, um, subscribe, zero dollars. Man. We on Instagram and we on Twitter, Fan Podcast. We Fam TV on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Follow the page and all that. Yes, sir. Like, some exclusive content exclusive. You know what I'm saying We uh, making His little highlight tapes I'm trying, You know what I'm trying, saying And then I'll be on Facebook On Fan TV I'll be doing going to Different events and stuff I'll be having pictures And little video clips Of performances and stuff You know A little bit of everything You, you dig Sports and entertainment You, you heard dig, You dig For but sure man today Excuse me My last episode man I made a bold statement In my opinion I guess Yeah Look, you know look saying, that way to the first game sure. You know what I said I thought, I thought Wemby Was going to be a bust You know what I'm saying I just it, It's a lot of hype And he got a lot To live up to I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing A lot of people Felt the same way About LeBron When he was You know what I'm saying Like oh no man, It's too much Yeah hype, but I'm saying he, bro, ain't gotta, up, he ain't going to Live up to it yeah, uh, yeah. But you got to I think your I think your Your bust wasn't Like he ain't going to Be do okay. I think your bus was just like they expect him, like you said, to do LeBron numbers at thirty and fifteen. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think you expect him, you know, to put up some numbers, but not as they expect him to. Do. In the yeah, first game, didn't look that way. First game, I think it was a two for thirteen or something. <clears throat> he went two for yeah, two for something. I just know he made two shots. You know what I'm saying? He had nine points, eight assists, five blocks. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were saying that the defense is, you know, what's going to keep him. I think that's just Draymond. Draymond was trying to say what I was saying, but he gave they gave him a little more props than I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're saying that the defense is going to keep him basically relevant in the game. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a rim protector, shot shot blocker and all that. Mm-hmm. And he proved that the first game that he had the potential that, or with that with the five blocks. Yeah. But the second game he came out and he said, all right, that was a little fluke. I feel like that was a fluke. And he, he must have got accustomed real quick to the range. Mm-hmm. You know, the NBA range uh, as opposed to the Paris, France range because I think the balls are a little smaller paws, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and overseas. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when they go to, like, the FIBA championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah it should know, be different, yeah, for sure. It'll be different. But, um, you know, he, sh- he showed a little something, but then they shut him down. They, sing, they say you get a little sneak peek, but we ain't going to – I think Pop got it into his ear early. Yeah, like, man. hey. Right. It's the organization. You got to say, you got to, you know, franchise the, you know, player that, you know, change player. You know what I'm saying? And Pop, like, I need you for the long haul, too. I just signed this nice extension for five years. You know, shout out to Popovich. I think he's the greatest coach of all time. But, you know, that's that's for the debate. That's the thing, though. Like, do you think do you think it was, okay, you get a little teaser of what we got? Or mm-hmm. do you think? Uh, uh, or do you think he he just got to let his, since he's seven five and got a different body than most NBA players? Do he need that time cause to like yo let me let my body? I think I think it's a it's come a mi- back. I think it's a see. mixture of everything, especially yeah he tall and stuff like that. But I think it's just a mixture when you when you go when you a top player, you know what I'm saying? Top five, top six player like. For me, if we got six exhibition games, you could play two, maybe three, but I don't I don't want you to play every, you know, exhibition, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, summer league game. Because we got preseason coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, and just, you know, give them a little warm up, you know what I mean? And we shut you down, and now we get into this routine we about to get into. Because as you can see, you know, players do get hurt. Like, you know, one of, one of the twins, you know what I mean? The one from Houston got a little banged up. Scoop got a little banged up. So they like, you know what? You already tall, you know what I'm saying? Statistics already show that. You know, you tall guys that's real tall and, you know, get get hurt, you know what I'm saying? And, and that just shuts you down for now, you know what I'm saying? You got a little taste. The first one was jitters. You you felt everything, you know what I'm saying? You got, 
you know, Britney Spears getting, you know what I'm saying, controversy. You got everything else, you know what I mean, going in your head, first game. Like you said, he wasn't used to it. He came, you know what I mean, from rock star. You feel me? You got yeah. Britney Spears coming like you want to take a picture. Yeah, like you know what fanning mean? out. Real yeah, quick, fanning like, out. Like, let me get a pic. You know what I'm saying? Tape, like, well, I don't even think she knew he played. She just like, that's a big motherfucker. Right. And I know he's famous or something. Right, right. <laughs> between that, like you said, between that and Jerry. I mean, right. She probably never seen nobody 7'5. Right. She probably seen been... Shaq, but Shaq is 7'1. Yeah, now nah, And ain't. sometimes he's staying next to his son and they be like, you 7'1. Right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right. but I, I'm glad you mentioned routine because that's exactly why I brought this up. I, this this is why it comes to mind. Mm -hmm. It's because when I first you know tapped into him and I seen he going crazy, that was part of the little rollout. It was like I do have a routine. I do I can't only play real quick this many minutes and then I got to come on the sideline. And I got to do these extra stretches that nobody else doing because my body different. Got to you know what I'm saying. So, got to. He was already saying that. That's why I'm like, is is they just giving the taste, or is they like, they they realizing, oh, we gotta really like, is it is not. I'm glad he went to the. It's not really glad he went to the Spurs because of Popovich. It's kind of glad he went to the Spurs because that's the originator of low management, right? And they're gonna know what to do with him and keep him healthy probably for his career. Well, if you ask, <laughs> well, if you ask Kawhi Leonard, they wasn't doing it properly. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, that's right, why he got. Right. So you know, you they never was trying. They wasn't. Yeah, they was yeah. like, you rock, rock. Like, right? Go ahead. Yeah, like, he was just doing some other. Yeah, Kawhi just it was, he just wanted to get out of there. And, in other words, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, yeah. I think they've been there, done that. Um, like you said, he just he just tall, man. Like you said, the, the guys are different. You know what I'm saying? So he, he definitely built different. Not a unicorn. It's an alien. That's right. what, you know what I'm saying? That's right. what they was getting. That's yeah, like I said, alien. yeah. He's an alien. Right, he's different. So you definitely, I could definitely see him on that, you know, that like, like you said, the perfect situation, the light, low management, you know what I'm saying? He might not do all this and that, but. You know, he might, hey, all right, we're going to rest you a day. You know what I'm saying? Just because, like I said, he athletic, man, because he could jump. He could do all that. And we're going, you know, like I said, it's now it's time to routine. Like I said, go, all right, wake up at 5, weight room. You know what I'm saying? All right, take a break, eat some uh, breakfast. All right, come on, we're going to do cardio. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be no, different. I'm not, I'm not sure if you said it or somebody else said it that I was talking to. Mm -hmm. But I forget exactly what we was talking about, but I know it was somewhere around, like, maybe you think – what, what what would you say about his career if his ceiling is Porzingis? Because we're talking about 7'5", Porzingis is 7'3". Mm -hmm. And he was doing everything old boy, you know, they was hyping him for. He was doing that first. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he's still balling. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be Boston this year. Right. And that's a scary looking team, man. That is... That's, listen, I had Boston like last year to be... I got him again this year, you know what I'm saying? With Porzingis, but if they can if you, harness if you, if, that talent, yeah. But you saying if it, if it's if it's ceiling at the end of his career, if it's ceiling is Porzingis, I would say. And, and and are you surprised that you don't hear many comparisons between the two, like so far? Like I haven't heard Wemby and Porzingis in the same right. rant. Right. Yeah, like as long as you might listen. You know I, what I'm saying? Like, I, no, I get it. I get it a thousand percent. You he's saying like two inches shorter? Like you saying it and me thinking about it, and that's pretty a pretty decent comparison. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you saying it, that's pretty. But from all the hype and everything, if he get Przingis thing, it'll be a fail. It will. He won't live up to his hype. I won't say it'd be a fail because Przingis had a decent career. You know, some injuries or whatever like that. But fire is number one. When you pick number one and you a phenom, like you said, Britney Spears coming at you, you throw out our first pitch in Yankee Stadium, and you got all this, you an alien. You ain't a star until you throw a terrible first pitch. You feel me? <laughs> right. <laughs> and you an alien and stuff like that, and he Przingis, then yeah. Like I said, it won't be fair, but yeah, he won't. It definitely won't live up to the hype. But that's that's, that's that, a yo, good comparison, though. Was that was that UFO in Vegas? Was that him like showing up into the maybe Americas? Like he right. crash yeah, landed. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> right, I'm here. That's how I got from wherever you from. I don't know where you from. Where you from? France. From France. Yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. That was his ship. That was his ship. Yeah. <laughs> they said he about eight feet tall. He Right, <laughs> exactly. And you know everything a little exaggerated. Shit, he have he almost there. Shit. Man, shout out to that family. I wonder where they at because they said I ain't heard nothing from them. Shit, you know where they at? Got their locked up. 
They somewhere, yeah. They don't got you can't talk no more. But it, that's a weird case, man, because the cop seen it on the body cam. The cop pulled up. Like, the only reason why I'm here is because my dog said he saw the shit, too. <laughs> so I'm, like, curious. Right. As a fact. As a fact, man. But and yeah. why, why, what, what, what makes you be like, yo, let me call 911 right, right now and lie to them and say that there's nine foot people in my backyard? Like, what would make somebody say that? Shit, niggas be tripping out, man. Oh, it was some Mexican <laughs> people, man. It was like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah they was like, yeah, he, you had he, to, he sounded calm as a bitch too. So yeah. maybe he was high as some shit. That's what I'm saying. You know, you had the little, but you know, like, like, fall. like we got like, yeah, it was definitely something. Cause some, they, they got the ring camera and you could hear it. Right. Well, they, Vegas, right? Yeah. Man, you know, out there in them deserts, they be testing all kind of shit, too. That's the other theory. That's the other That's theory. my thing. You I know what the that one theory is something. that I like now? You know what I'm saying? I think it's probably the least, you know what I'm saying, possible, possible. Mm-hmm. But I think it will be the dopest possible. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Some people say that the UFOs is the ancient people waking up and coming from on the ground. Shit, they won't be in UFOs though. They'll just be walking around. Now you don't know that. Maybe they reached that technology. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't know their story back in the day, thirty thousand right. years ago or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the Egyptians don't know who built the pyramids. Yeah, I don't know. The pyramids was already there. They just took over. Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a different stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm an alien. You know, the alien went by that's Yama. Different. Yama, you know what I'm saying? But you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? He, mm-hmm. he had. A, Couple good games, you know. The summer league's been showing out a lot of young players, is, you know, showing and proving that they belong. Right, right. Trying to get you know these contracts. Shout out to uh, 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 Isaiah Stewart signed the rookie extension, Max, the rookie Max, right? I believe yeah. Or his whatever rookie Max, yeah, whatever it was. His, hey man, he got the was, check. I baby. think it was four years, sixty four million, something like that. Yeah, and then uh, Jalen Pickett actually signed with the Nuggets too. He signed his contract. Yeah, so he signed nice. his contract, so he's an official NBA player too. That's what's up. So look for, them the, for the world champions so right look now. Look at them gentlemen. Said Thomas Bryant signed to your Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah. Thomas yeah, Bryant came to the. Know, so that's the right champion. team. That's the player. That's the type of player I want. We add size. Facts. You know what I'm saying? No, you know, that's he's perfect. not. He's not taller than Bam, but he's about. You know, just yeah, as tall. Yeah, yeah. And physical. He'll force. That's what I'm and, saying. And 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 Miami, that's our style. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna get more burn over there. I hope so, cause we thought he was gonna get burned in Denver. They ain't really need I him. I know, right? That shit was. They ain't really need him in like, LA. He was getting busy. Yeah, he I'm was like, getting busy. He was getting busy in LA, but you, when you got the MVP, you know what I'm saying? Two time MVP over there that's playing big minutes and shit. That's that's what happened over there. But right, yeah. he ain't coming out the game. They, right, like, that's what I'm was saying. was on the run and shit. They like, they're right. just like, nah, that's what son. I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. my they game. Forty one right. minutes, bro. Yeah, exactly. I'm playing anything for sure. Shout out, like I said, shout out to the Rock, man. It's like when when Brown stepped out of the game, and then he ain't even sit down in no chair. He was checking himself back in. Yeah, he took like man. a fourteen second break. That's it, bro. Listen, like, when you when you when you competitive, man, and you love the game, and shit ain't wrong with you, and you might, like you said, give me that ten seconds. Let me get some Gatorade real quick, or some, or some, or some. You know what I mean? What what was the uh? What was the bugs bugs juice or whatever? And the Bugs Bunny? Oh, yeah, yeah those uh, water. Whatever it's magic stuff, or yeah, something. whatever. But secret magic, stuff, the secret yeah, stuff, secret sauce or whatever they got. Gonna get some of that, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm back in the game. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Between timeouts and all that, I, I tell, I'm, I'm good then. I know, especially me, I, you know, anytime I'm, you know, was able to be a starter or get big minutes or you know, big good time. I ain't trying to come out. Now nah, I'm straight. Nope, nah. I don't need no water break. And I'm in straight. the majors too. I mean, LeBron didn't eat nothing. Obviously, he didn't even sit down on the majors. In the pros in any sport, they got the different shit, dude. They got the good shit. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's that's what I mean. that's, baseball was the first time I seen, uh, I think it's called like freeze on or something. Like, yeah, they got like, anything. It's right ice, on. spray ice, bro. Like, dude, dude got hit in the shin with a ball, right. and he went to the dugout, and they didn't even lower his sock. They just sprayed the sock right over. Fact. I was like, this was like at least 10 years ago. Man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, damn, they got some yeah. different shit. Factory. That's <laughs> a fact. That's, they got it. Like you said, man, you can walk, talk, whatever you can do. Stay in the game, man. Like you said, with the technology and everything, I worry about it afterwards. You know how it is. You know, you use a ball player. You want shit. After the game, you stiffed up. You got a limp. You know what I'm saying? And during the game, you, you know, your adrenaline rushing, you can be rocking. 
Oh, no, no. Yeah, that happened in the playoffs. Uh, Jimmy Butler. And I forgot what game. I think it, it was the Boston game. Mm-hmm. Um, Jason Tatum got hurt, but he was still kind of balling. Right, right. And, but he got hurt in the first half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That halftime came. came yeah, it slowed down. down. Jimmy bit, Butler yeah. got hurt in the second half. Right. So that adrenaline kept them going through the rest right. of the game. That's a fact. Yeah, man, it's different, man. But speaking of you know, baseball, baseball, it's it's All Star weekend. You know what I'm saying? When we're recording this right now, it's yeah, the All Star game going on, going on. You know, yeah. around the Fourth of July. You know what I'm saying? It'd be the All Star break. You know what I'm saying? Baseball. This one wasn't really. Uh, maybe I don't watch no TV at all like that or something. But mm-hmm. I didn't really see this promoted like. In, and when I seen the schedule, like I, I passed by a TV and I seen the the, the schedule of what's coming, mm-hmm. I, I was I had I would question real quick, like yo, is the home run derby this year? Because they didn't even acknowledge it. They they just said this is the All Star game on Tuesday. So. Yo, I I just think <laughs> I think man, so much is in your face, man, that you just shit just go by. I felt the same way too. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, you know, been a little more like right now. It's a time. To tap into our baseball, like you said, we in baseball. We we, we biggest big Yankee fans, but one one person we tapped in one, like that. But one person, I wanna I wanna um, you know, take the time and, and to look more into mm-hmm. is Shohei Otani, man. You wanna tap in a little bit more? Like I, I know we gave him his flowers and all that a few times on this show already, mm-hmm. but he's doing stuff. Yeah, he's doing stuff nobody's ever done before, yo. Yeah, nah. Every and time. I gotta, I gotta take the time to like tap grasp in. it. Like, you yeah, know what nah. My, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That's why I've been tapping in a little bit more. Like I said, the the the, the team that that like I said, we we've been up and down. Like I said, between injuries and, and all this other stuff, but fired our head and coach. You know what I mean? Got a new head and coach over there, but um. It's the Braves, man. Braves. Well, how about how about Braves old boy? How tough. about old boy in Cincinnati, man? Oh, he's a phenom. Oh man. my God, yo. He's hustle, Jones. He's a hustle, Jones. I never watched the game, but yo, his highlights is highlights. Like he's this still, is real highlights. Like he's still he make at home. you want to, yeah, make you want to be like, hold up, let me tap into a Cincinnati Reds game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you don't know what he's gonna do. Right. Fifteen games in, whatever twenty, probably twenty, twenty five by now. But I seen something that said like. The first player ever right. to get 15 extra base hits and 15 stolen bases in his first 15 games or something shit like that. Like, Factory. And where he came from. It wasn't no hype or nothing. It wasn't no... That, you it know, was just bow. I'm going to hit, start hitting the 500 foot home you know, runs. You know why? Because, like I said, baseball is just so like... So baseball is just different in general. And is he mixed or is he straight guala? Like yeah, I think he guala, he straight guala. He just but. well, he mixed with the ancestors. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? exactly. We, we all the same people. At the yeah, end of the day. yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, he kind of like us. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? He kind of. I'm a little lighter. Yeah, you know he, what I'm he, nah, he dark like me. He, I think he might be a little darker. But uh, yeah, now nah, baseball is just built different, bro. De la Cruz. Like I said, baseball is just different, man. Like like you saying he, where he, like he, you saying where he came from? They just had the damn major league draft. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck had the draft in the middle of the season? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because they know most of them players is not really playing. We just getting them on our team. Yeah, we might so play like, later. yeah, so because Trout was Trout. I, I don't think Trout got straight out of college or nothing. I, I mean, what you mean? I mean, yeah, he get drafted straight out of college, whatever. But um, I mean, like he ain't come up the same year. Type like he thing. wasn't hype. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you said, people. Like yeah, I said, came they up li- the same year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I said, people. They literally just had their draft in the middle of the season. Yeah. You feel me? Like, oh, uh, was, was it uh, like just <laughs> recently, recently? Like last week. Okay, so as after the, okay, so I, I think I know who the number one pick was at least. There's a picture. Like, yeah, I think. Mm. Uh, dude from LSU, they was going crazy for Yeah, I think team. he went to the Pittsburgh Pirates. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They got base, they got, they draft in the middle of, you know what I'm saying? I think around the same time, like I said, all star break, you try to He do brought excitement there. to the game, man. Nah, he nice, yeah. He brought real excitement. Like I, I think it, I think it bring mm. more excitement because I, I think the black people think he black too. They be like, yeah, we about to tap in too. Oh wait, <laughs> Dela Cruz. Oh okay, his daddy must be Puerto Rican or something. Right. <laughs> <Listen, man. laughs> it's just sad but true because that's that's a, you know, you know, politically correct. That's a white man's game. You know what I'm saying? In baseball, not really. It's a Spanish man. No, game. I'm saying what I'm saying. It was. That's what I'm saying. Like America's. Best, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Past America's pastime. Past yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, we know what that means. Right. So, Before the um, Negro Leagues. Right. <laughs> yeah. But now, yeah, now, now, yeah, yeah, now, like I said, you got the Cubans, Dominicans, you know, Puerto Ricans, you know, everybody. Cubans, like, the the 
The main nah, guys, even, other than like pitchers, right? Nah, even black people, man, are, them black are, players are. Been, that's what I'm saying. We be getting crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. In general, that's what I'm saying. In general, like before, it used to be like 70, 30. It's the opposite right now. Oh, yeah, as far yeah, as yeah. that, I would say it's probably like seventy to thirty the other way. Like it's more, you know what I'm saying? They the raw guallers though out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Raw guallers. They nah, they they out there. The whole home slot from the like east slot. Come on, man. The just about the whole home run derby. It was. Yo, what's old boy named Julio Rodriguez? Yeah, yeah he's a beast. Forty one home runs. He Where got tired. He got tired. After Where that, was bro. the home run derby? Bro. Seattle. That's why he went nuts. It was in his, in his that's backyard. That's a short porch. It was in his backyard. Now I wasn't sure. It was. It was in his That's his town That's his city 41 though Like That's his town That's his you city can't, yo, That's who he played for How long was the show Like <laughs> Cause Remember Josh Hamilton Went crazy at Yankee Stadium mm-hmm. 28 in the round And that was like God damn Nah that is different I'll tell, so yeah, like, tell you stats later But yeah, yeah, yeah But like you said Nah the home run derby He hit the most That was the most in the round I bet Yeah you I think me? I, know, yeah, I yeah. think I knew that yeah, that was the most in the round. He was the first. 41, son. I believe he was the first to hit like 30. He twice. hit 60. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he was 21 in the second round. Okay. So he's 62 overall. 62. But he lost in the second yeah, round. Yeah, he lost in the second round. To, yeah. to Vlad. Yeah, to Vlad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fire. Son. That's fire. First father son do all the win. Right. And his father won the. His father won the. 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 Uh, the uh, home run derby from the final round 3 2. <laughs> Cause it was different back in the <laughs> You day. feel me Nah it wasn't there It was 10 outs Huh Nah it was still Yeah I think it was like Outs or whatever but so, yeah. yeah I'm saying like, Back in the day It was 10 outs So it was like You got 10 outs Like right. however long saying. it takes However, yeah, exactly. So now 3-2 you get, is Yeah Players right, now got you better get, Yeah right exactly. Players got better Now yeah yo, We know that Like that That's now like one of them minutes. That's that's one of them stats Where it's like No look the players got better. Yeah. Like you know that all, all in general, yeah. Niggas three to better. two in the final round. We gotta look that back up after the show or something. We gotta look that up and see yeah, like yeah. what was the rules at the time. Yeah, Maybe they had different rules. Yeah. I'm pretty Maybe sure. Maybe they had like a two minute round. But like you could get. But like minutes. you said though, like it might have been ten out. So if you don't, if you hit a five ball, that's that's one. Yeah, I think it was that. Now you get straight three minutes. But forty one in three minutes though, like well, let me see. He got forty one in, in four minutes. That's still bugged yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's ten no, home no, runs every twisted, sixty yeah. seconds. <laughs> hey man, that's what, how he was doing it. He got in the rhythm. That's, that's a, how it was. That's they, some track and field shit. I've yeah, been watching they, mad track and field. It's yeah, mad rhythms. They, like they that. give you uh, it's three minutes, and then you get some bonus time for hitting home runs over four forty. So if you hit two over four forty, oh they smack your shit. Yeah, you get extra time. They smack his shit. You got 30 seconds, then another 30 seconds. So. Talk about Deadline Cruz is hitting 485, something like You know what I'm saying? So it was different. But the shit, shit I liked it though, too, was the young cat from uh, Baltimore, him and his dad. That was out there. He, I forgot I forgot his name. I think he, he was a rookie, too, from Baltimore. Oreos and shit. And his dad was the pitcher. And he was smacking him, but he just went and he just went into, he went against the dog. So he wasn't winning that one. You feel me? Yeah. But. Like said, said, his, so, fa- his uh, father hit, his father was pitching, and then after he t- called a timeout, after he got the extra time, he went because he's a switch hitter. He went on the other side, switch hit, and hit a couple of home runs on that side. So that was fire. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, that was, I, I wonder if that ever been done too. Nah, it hasn't been. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't. And I heard uh, Mookie Betts had some problems. He not a home run hitter. <laughs> well, I heard he has problems with the pitcher or something. Like, the pitcher nah, he's just not a home run hitter. Bro. Nah. It's, it's his... <clears throat> I could tell you all this because I watched it. Mm-hmm. I literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a Monday night. There ain't nothing to watch. Time to put the son to bed. Go go in your room, watch your tablet, you relax. It's time to go to bed. So I watched the whole thing. And then it, it's basically his wife just put him up to do it. His wife was like, man, you did everything in this league. You ain't doing home run derby, so go do the home run derby. That's why he was out there. And man, he ain't taking no timeouts. Straight three minutes. He's trying to get over with. Yeah, straight three minutes. Yeah. Cause everybody did timeout like halfway through one twenty five. Like everybody was hitting about ten, the twelve little, home runs. The little pan camera with the gate. Somebody bring them a Gatorade and right, towel. Exactly. And towel and talk, yeah. you know, it was all guala. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I see. I see. They can call some see. drums. Right, shit. exactly. <laughs> Coming out, you know what I'm saying? Sweat, Gatorade. That's not racist because I used to do that in high school. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. That we had the drums for real in yeah, the yeah, dugout. Yeah. 
Yeah, now they, they ain't have all the three actions like that this year, but yeah, they definitely was coming out deep, like you said. Though. We had the, you know, the drum with the, with the strings on the outside, you squeeze it, and they had like the little, the, 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 nah, y'all the went nuts. Handle. Y'all went nuts. Do, 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 y'all was going nuts. <laughs> y'all was going nuts. Like I've been a couple, you know, a few of y'all games, y'all was going nuts. So yeah, sure. man, that was, that's the love of the game, man. That's the spirit, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, I was going nuts out there, but. You know, I, you know, like, I guess, I guess it's, I can't say like, Cause Spanish countries too love soccer too the same way like, but baseball. Oh, like in them in them islands like they they playing baseball, but they playing more like street baseball and stuff like you know right. what I'm saying. Or, they playing Mike Chay more. Like you said, that's why they said they sticks in the rocks. Like you know what I mean. Stick. Oh, you seen Mariano Rivera first ever glove? You seen that clip? No, I don't think so. Where it's just like he put his hand. You know how the cardboard box got the handles? Mm -hmm. It's like he put his hand through the handle. And, and like was hope that like that's his glove, that's glove. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nah, they like I said, yeah, they be playing like you said. They don't got the equipment, so, so I mean so everything now is better. But these dogs though, you know what I'm saying? They not yeah. as uh, what I'm trying to say is that baseball in the, in the places is not as big as soccer, but you can tell the spirit is still probably just as much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it comes to you know Spanish players and you know motherfuckers numbers. But yeah, 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 no, without a doubt. But that's what I'm saying. They might not accept big as soccer, but there's not a lot of them playing basketball or football. You know, what I'm saying? I heard somebody say that these countries, that soccer is so big because you don't need no extra shit. That too, you just need a ball and your feet. Yeah, that's it. There's some cleats, maybe some cleats. No, no, boy, you feel you me know. though? Yeah, like you said, with baseball, you need a bat, you need the ball, you need the glove. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Basketball, you would think that, but basketball, you need some shoes out there. But they ain't my Even hot. if you don't, you need the basket too. Yeah, you need the basket. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> you ain't balling like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't get a lot of ball players coming out of, you know, like, you know, them countries, out of countries other than the U.S., you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, definitely. So, but shout out to the All Star game, man. It's always com like, All Star game, I got I to gotta get back to it. You know what I'm saying? It used to be real hype, right? When, back in my younger, I used to watch it and get hyped. Like, right. this, is, this is fire, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to wait. Yeah, I, I gotta sure. get back into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, my, so my question is, you know, what I'm saying to you, like I said, we both, you know, we both will put football, to, you know, probably the top. But between baseball and basketball, man, you got the slam dunk contest kind of faded away, or the home run derby. I know you ain't pay attention to both of them, but which one you think is bigger now? Nah, Pause. I think I, I think I'm still. Or more interested, honestly, in the home run derby. You know what I'm saying? At least, at least as of late. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see, I don't see NBA players doing any kind of any of the dunks that you see on YouTube or something. By mm -hmm. these so I don't think that's going to get too much better as it goes on. Mm -hmm. A home run derby is just pure, like, you know, people could call their shots. You know what I'm saying? They have fun with it and. Maybe maybe I'm a little more biased because I can connect more with my culture because I I'm a lot to see them you know celebrate and all no, that right, you know yeah, what I'm saying they take sure. the time. Baseball is a patient game like you know what I'm saying like they take their time they embrace it you know what I'm saying like we ain't doing too much anyway right so let's you know and, and, and they win more money I think than any other All Star joint you know what I'm right, saying right, right. Sure. All Star event the winners yeah. And I think they get a truck too, don't they? Oh, they get a lot of I stuff. remember they used to get the truck, definitely. Yeah, and they get a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, now they give them a the little chain or whatever too, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I would say, Home I mean, at first, at first it was the basketball, you know, the dunk, obviously. Like you, you can, like, you can describe an, a successful, as a, an, a, you can describe a successful event as a home run. Right. It was a home run. You know what I'm saying? So home run a home run derby that. is. Top tier, this is the peak. Every you know, every swing. You right. know what I'm saying? No, every fact, yeah, swing. I get you on that one. Like you said, definitely. Like you said, home runs in general. Like people slam dog every day, but a home run. That's you know, like you said, it's celebrate. You saying fireworks? You know what I mean? You celebrating, and then at the same time, it's always been a few top dogs that's gonna participate in it too. A slam dunk contest. You got a nigga that just came out the G League and nigga won last year. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that that got nothing to go but up though. Like that's what they're gonna start doing the YouTube joints and whatever about the ball 
people that be on YouTube dunking and stuff like that. It's going to go that way. They might still have one or two little, you know, people that's in the league, but I think they're going to just mix it up. And they don't got no way but to go up. Like I said, that the dunk contest almost not as low, but almost like the damn Pro Bowl. Like, who, the Pro Bowl went, that's the worst ever. Yeah, they playing dodgeball. That's the worst ever, right? Pro Bowl, whoo. Pro they low key, one. they low key said forget the game. You're too into the dodgeball that we Pro about to play. One. Yeah, they might wish have them playing uh, Madden. <laughs> I think they might have right? a segment. I, yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they little, do. But I'm just you know saying, how they throw in the crazy. little clip like, oh, we doing this. Is what we doing too? We having a Madden tournament. But yeah, we're only gonna yeah, show you. We're only gonna show you 30 seconds of terrible. it. Terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. This happened last night. Uh, yeah, you know the terrible one. Terrible. That shit is the Pro Bowl. Terrible. I used to watch yeah. the Pro Bowl. That's one thing. He always, especially when it was in Hawaii. He's like, oh, they go to Hawaii. You know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit was fire. But, you know, I'd rather watch the All Star, NBA All Star game than the, the yeah. MOB. But as far as slammed up and home run, yeah, this is a home run for sure. I got to roll with the home run derby. Word. But, man, it was a super, uh, a, a super crazy event, man. We, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a player, man. He dominating the sport, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the past, by. You know what I'm saying? We was off. You know what I'm saying? We took the holiday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the greatest of all time, Joy the goat. Chestnut. The goat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joy Chestnut. He had 62 glizzies in 10 minutes. <laughs> glizzy? <laughs> Balls. The, the glizzy king. Balls. You know what I'm saying? You know, 16 4th of July hot dog eating championships, man. He did two eight peats. What you know about that, son? What you know about that? Nothing. You don't know about three peats. You don't know about an eight peat, son. I, I did nothing. two of them, son. Most championships, man. Yo, Bobby Watson do it on YouTube, son. Yeah. And it's not just hot dogs. He he be fucking everything. Yeah, nah, they, he they got they, records they, and everything. Yeah, now they definitely expanded that too. Then we have lemonade drinking and all this other stuff. Yo, man, they be wild, son. Like, that whole competition is a tradition, you know. You wake up, even when you forget about it, every somebody gonna mention it real quick. Right? Oh, yeah, the, nah, it come oh, on. Oh yeah, I forgot this song. Yeah, you know it's you, the Fourth of July, right? Yeah, it come on uh, random time, like twelve o'clock. I'm about to watch. You motherfucker right. go crazy. Something's uh, crazy. Right, Coney Island. <laughs> He's there, just chilling. You, you, you know it. Like you said, it's part of the holiday. For Shout sure. out to the announcer too, yo. Right. He say that job serious. Hell yeah, like One I told day you, year, son. Like I told you, bro. Like him and the, and Chestnut had a. Beat somebody up and try to come up there. <laughs> hey, take it for real. Like I said, once a year, that's his shine. That's his go-to. He be wild as fuck. Right. Man. Man, I mean, you got to respect it. You got to respect it. Oh, yeah. You, know yeah. you got to respect, you know, Joey Chestnut, man. That's, I've been... When you... When, when, I first heard about, you know, Kobe Yashi. Kobe Yashi. Kobe Yashi. He was, he was the top dog. You top know what I'm saying? No right. pun intended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, he was definitely top dog. Well, I was watching True Life. Mm -hmm. You don't know, remember True Life that used to come on MTV? I remember, yeah. And I then, never really was into it. But yeah. Well, I, I used to tap into True Life, and they had one episode, they followed him around, like, you know what I'm saying, to show how, how he lived his life. Yeah. You know, he was popping, son. Uh -huh. When Joey Chestnut came through, that's when he started, he started bugging a little started bit. Bugging like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah he started, oh, man, this motherfucker came in. Right. Like, took my shit out. Fucking right. my shit out. He took right. the record from like 52 to like. I think the record like 74 or something. Like, yeah, it's something crazy. It's, it's, it's just a lot of... He be mad. So after the press conference... A lot of Nathans. The, pre <laughs> the press conference, he was like... He was like, I'm about to, I think I got a little bit of room. Get some beers. You know what right. I'm saying? Get some beers, right. <laughs> hey, man. That's what he trained for, man. He trained for that shit, too. That shit ain't no just, I'm going to eat some hot dogs. Nah, son. Nah, he trained, man. <laughs> they be trained, excuse me. Don't people be eating one meal a day, son. They be training. One meal a day. There's going to be a lot of it. So. A whole lot. Different. You got to check them out on YouTube if you haven't. Like, they be eating. Some no, no. Like I said, you I did. like 100 pop tarts. Like I said, that's <laughs> right. No, I saw, I, like you said, you just, the shit come on at a random time. And I caught it like one day, I'm lazy, just. And I watched like an hour before, two hours before the thing. And they was following, like I said, it was following old boy. Around like said he was tripping. That's when he did that year he was fighting and shit. Kobe Ashi, he was fighting. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I watched that one and they like I said all the things they were doing, chest notes, training and shit like that. Like I said, part time and all that. And I was like, yeah, that shit's wild. That shit's crazy. Because they really work out, work out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he do a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit is wild. One meal a day, son. 
It's wild and that whole dipping in the water, that's the routine. All that man versus yeah. food shit you watch, then you be like, okay, okay, he did the challenge. Okay, okay, that is a big challenge. You know, he failed. It's okay. That's all right, right. shit. Man, they walking in. And he did it one episode actually on Man versus Food. They be walking in, listen, man, give me a give me that challenge. I right, am about to do this shit in like ten minutes. I right, think like, so. Right. No, that's what Joey Chestnut and them oh, be doing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they yeah, come yeah. in there and no, so I'm saying, man, yeah. he did it on the one episode with the big ass burrito. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I like, like big burritos big as a pitch. Burrito like this, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the, the man versus food dude took like I don't even think he finished it. Nah, he so, finished it. I don't think he finished it. Joey Chestnut came in there, did that shit in like two minutes. <laughs> Yo, son, they even breathe some pause. <laughs> <laughs> but like he just be going in. Yeah, he got a routine. Like you said, that shit that be doing. I don't want to imitate what you <laughs> right, do. Right, I'm like, like, I don't even know how to explain well, he it. He do it, <laughs> man. He wet it. Yeah, like I said the wet, <laughs> wetting is a routine with the water there and everything. And I don't know, but. Hey, it is what it is, man. He the champ, been the champ for how many years now? <laughs> he been, been a while. The champ for like almost twenty years. Almost twenty years. And Sixteen championships, but like <clears throat> in between those, I think um, I think this YouTuber named Matt Stoney, some you know Asian dude. I think mm -hmm. I think he won it one year. Okay, yeah. and that's why he got two eight beats. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Definitely been Two doing it. pieces, crazy. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we about to see who we're gonna be the champ today, huh? Yeah, man. Try to do, you know, a couple couple glizzies, you know what I'm pause. saying? Pause. See who can finish it first or five we minutes. Gotta, we gotta pause this whole segment. Yeah, this a pause before segment, we, we even start, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, we're gonna get ready, man. We actually about to take a little break and then when we come back, man. We about to have a race. Glizzy race. <laughs> <laughs> You got to say it like that. <laughs> so we about to have a nice, you know, ballpark race, man. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on. Five minutes, five. Five ballparks, man. Somebody See what still going to say, hey, yo. Right. It is what it is, man. It's, the, it's 2023, baby. <laughs> we we holla. All right, yo, we back, man. We back, man. Episode 171, 171 man. 171, man. You know, we, we passed 4th of July, you know what I'm saying? But we still in the 4th of July spirit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And we decided to take on the challenge ourselves to see what we could do. Now, we both got... Uh -huh. If, if, if we're going to take it there, we're going to have to take it there, man. We got... Each got five francs each. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All beef, pause. pause. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But beef only, man. Beef only, pause. Yeah, yeah. But... We're going to see if we could do five glizzies <laughs> in five minutes. Five minutes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just ask you real quick. Do you think you actually going to be able to do this? I think so, man. Looking at the plate in front of you. I think so. I don't think Chestnut got nothing on me, man. No, I think I could do it. I think I could do five minutes in five minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never... I know I could do it, but when you put the pressure of five minutes... Who knows? You feel me? It might go fast. It might go slow. If you was a betting man, what's the over under you think for both of us? Mm. I seen you eat, so you smoke <laughs> a little bit. So I think we both gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? One of us might be at the finish line. You know what I mean? It might. Mm -hmm. But I think we both could do it, man. I got I got faith in the Riveras tonight. Well, all right, man. We gonna see. I'm gonna get this going too for me. I'm going okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I only got about it. Eight minutes on there anyway. Yeah, yeah, there you, you know go. what I'm saying? Makes sense, man. We got uh, five minutes, man. Five minutes. This is the Glizzy Challenge. Do, Pause the fan Pause. Glizzy Challenge. You know oh. what I'm saying? Five francs. <laughs> it don't matter how you say it, son. Right, you five francs. Right? In five minutes, man. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. I don't even want to look at the time. That's going to make me. You got to look at the time. Now it's going to go off. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make you nervous and shit. You know what I mean? Forgive me if I bounce back and forth. You know what I mean? This is good too, beef. Ballpark tonight. Yeah, good to go. Yeah. Can't go wrong. I just need some chips. All right. So one down. One down. Mm-hmm. For the water. Mm -hmm. 
This is the quiet spot in the podcast. I shouldn't be talking, but yeah, it's all good. I'll make sure people still, we still here. We breathing. I feel you breathing, huh? Dinner tonight, baby. Don't get wrong with it. Mm-mm. When you go to the ballpark, man, you know, we're talking about baseball, all that. Ball you, you, you know what I'm saying? Fourth of July. You gotta get you a good dog when you go to the ballpark, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Red Wings when we have 50 cent hot dogs and shit. You gotta rack up, man. It's probably tradition. I think that's tradition. We can go to the ballpark. A glizzy and a beer or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's a tradition. It's in the Dewey Yankee Stadium music is a straw. Huh? Dewey Yankee Stadium music a hot dog is a straw. Right. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> Man, what the fuck that was? That's a ball. No, no. That shit was weird as hell. People do weird shit with their food, though. Mm-hmm. Every day. People think this shit weird. Right. <laughs> exactly. Babe. You might get this shit. I'm <laughs> deep, man. I have to chef none of them niggas, though. The 62 of these motherfuckers? 10? Right. Ah, yeah. Uh huh. What? What's the time limit? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Hmm. No, I can't do that shit. 62 of these. And only five more minutes in the night. Okay. We're doing five and five minutes, so. <laughs> like I said, they get technique, man. Everybody has their own technique. They sport in. <clears throat> all that. And they practice work, huh? Practice make perfect. Mm-hmm. A good hot dog, sour cream and onion chips, lay chips. All right? My son's favorite, right there. All right? Are you okay? I'm all right. I'm all right. I don't think I'm going to get it more real. Hmm? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it. No? Mm-mm. You got it. Mm-mm. It's going to be more time than you think. Mm-mm. I told you somebody was going to go to the time limit. I'm going to go right to the bottom. You got a whole glizzy left. No over. You got it left. You know what I mean? Wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear that. It's a bump bang. Glizzy glizzy after the club. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) For you females, you know what I mean? <laughs> Food truck, nigga. What? Come on down. Straight glizzies. <laughs> you got that, man. Come on. Got time to spare. <laughs> Close the third time I was gonna break to the wire. To the wire. So, more of the story is people, I think that shit is whack, or you think it's a game, you think you can do enjoy chestnut shit, eat six, 62 or whatever, even 20. <laughs> we did five in five minutes. You did five. I did, I did right, four. I did five in there. Yeah. I did four and three quarters. But still, I was. You know, <laughs> You I ain't drinking no water like I that. Just drunk, I, drunk, I ain't drinking throughout. No, no, I drank it out there. Yeah, so that's for real. Salute to them legends, to the male and females, because the woman's the one, the one lady be doing her thing too. She been on there for a minute too. <laughs> she <laughs> <laughs> like I said, she a champ. she the champ. She be doing her thing for a minute, man. 
Her husband, he, you know what I'm saying? Her husband eat on the other side, on the men's. Oh, they both compete? Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought you were about to say, like I said, they be doing the damn pineapple, the lemonade, the big fat, big fat black dude be winning that shit. Mm-hmm. Be killing the lemonade Bad man shit. Charge. Yeah. That nigga be doing more. Shout out my guy Badland Charge, you know? Chuggy shit for real. For real. Hey, yo, man. I had to, you know. Harder than you think. Can't waste food. It was harder than I thought. I I really thought maybe I got a chance. But. That's why I said they can either go fast or slow. Sometimes you think the shit. Sometimes you be tired. Yo, if you ever time yourself doing some type of workout or whatever, and you be like, yo, it only been that long. It only been that long. Or you got to do something for anything. Like, only, damn, time is slow, but. You torched me in that one, though. That five, five minutes kind of, that five minutes went by kind of fast. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna hold you. I was trying to, I seen it. Mm-hmm. I know you had it on your phone, so I know you was looking I at it. I seen like five minutes coming up. I know, I, I know I'm close to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. And I know you had the time. That's why I said I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it, man. It wasn't going to make me go no faster, though. <laughs> now I was going to push you. Yeah. <coughs> That was good though. Pause, but yeah. <laughs> Pause. Pause on the glizzy challenge. You know what I'm saying? That was just some a little bit of entertainment, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like I, said, I do got another challenge if you want to do it. You know, we do got some chips. Nah, you got the hot chips. We do got some chips. That's what I said. You got the hot ones. Said we. <laughs> said we. You know I tried saying? something. I ain't gonna know about finish them all. It's one minute. One minute? You gotta try to finish the bag in under one minute. Come on, let's bring it right now. What we doing? What we taping and recording, man. I gotta sit down. With these you dogs. got you need chips to go with the glitch. Oh. We doing the flaming hot just because that's what the challenge is for everybody, or whatever. So you that's know what, what I'm that's saying. What the challenge is right now. Yeah, it's flaming hot. I would have got some regular joints, but I'm like, nah, let's go with the challenge. Flaming hey, hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But hey, the man. challenge is to eat the whole bag. These are the uh, the old school twenty five cent chips, but they fifty nine cent now. That's crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? And they small as a bitch. No. These, these like the ones that you get in the family pack. That should be a little yeah. smaller. Yeah. But um It was a disclaimer too, man. You know what I'm saying? They was like, yo, if you if, it, if you buy the date shorty and she body some flame hot and Cheetos, don't fuck with it. It's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> man, everybody eat flame hot Cheetos now. Right. So everybody they put that thing on everything. Oh, these yeah. and takis. Hmm? These and takis. Takis, yeah. I don't, I don't I'm not a hot person, people. So I do what I can. Now, if you watch our, our One Chip Challenge, go check that out in the archives. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's definitely not a hot person. I'm not a hot person. <laughs> this much of the chip, boy. And I, woo! That's why that peanut, I know you can't eat peanuts, but that peanut yeah, I got. that peanut one. Listen, I'm not doing it for y'all on camera. I'm just let y'all did it twice and it fucked me up. It had me crying. It had me throwing up. So yeah. I, I ain't messing with it. I mean, yeah, it's hotter yeah. than the One Chip, though. I've heard from recent contestants. Yeah, that's what they say. Oh, Pe- yeah. Peanut, whatever. Yeah, they said it's hotter than one chip. Mm-hmm. One peanut. I believe it. You fake. That's why when they be coming around with this, that, and the third. <clears throat> shout out to uh, <clears throat> cousin with Valentino. You know, uh, his father in law made some type of uh, sauce. Some, some. He said, "Nigga, picante." Yeah, it's worse than that. Man. So, but if you want a good meal, man, if you want to go take that challenge, take that sauce. Valentino's. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Challenge is everywhere. So I'm going to set a timer for you this time. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to go one by one. No water, of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's How like much the, we can do in a minute? Or you want to do it together? It's, it's supposed challenge. to be the whole bag. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. That's a lot of chips. <laughs> the shit usually don't be full, man. They full today. And I want to do a challenge and shit. I do what I get, man. Like I said, I don't want to see no time, man. All right. We need the glizzies after this. With that little bit of bread. All right. You ready? Yeah, let's do it, man. This is the challenge. Look, that bitch got some stuff on it. Yeah. Little bag of hot Cheetos in under a minute. Can Whoa. you finish the whole bag? Let's ready? do it in three, two, one, go. Woo. And he starts pretty slow, but he's speeding up. He is speeding up. He's not taking well to the spice real quick. When's the last time you think he had some hot Cheetos? (laughs) 
I ain't gonna lie. For me personally, it's been about a month since I had any chips. Mm-hmm. About um, a month? Yeah, I pretty much gave up chips. I pretty much gave up alcohol. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else? I ain't I ain't do for a month. Oh, drink soda. What for you? Got swallow. Got swallow. Oh. Pause. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Because they let that, you know, they they let that happen in the, in the, in the, in the hot dog eating contest, too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They just try to get them last <clears throat> two, three dogs in there. I'll give you that though One minute One minute You know what I'm saying Not not very good With the spicy food But he took it Took it like a G Not too bad though Nah 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 Flaming Hot not too bad Yeah Flamin it wasn't too bad Yeah I thought it would be worse Maybe when you have to Do this a couple times <laughs> You feel that heat You just but, had to keep going though. You know what I'm saying You right, have to get that cup That's why I said Fuck it Let me keep going That's why I said Fuck it Let me keep going So you know You set your time for me this time you know what I'm saying? We assess the situation. Mm-hmm. Maybe you ready. You ready? Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Some last week. <laughs> and you did the peanut and one chip, so this ain't nothing. Cheetos, man, minute. Five glizzies in five minutes, man. Hey, man. Did them challenges, man. You dig? Especially the glizzies around the holiday. Flame hot chips, pie up. You know, hot topic in the streets in general. You know what I mean? When you go to the corner it's stores. For a minute, too. They got a movie guy. That's what I'm saying. When you go to the corner store, you know, that's one of them hot, hot tickets. You know what I mean? Items that's in the store. And like Dre said, Evil Longoria and that. Oh, somebody popular produced that, though. My famous and shit produced that. Was it Ryan Coogler? I don't know. Because it was about the black man, right? He was a, he was a janitor, and then he came up. Oh, you know, no, Mexican or he was something. a Mexican dude. That's what I'm saying. Well, you need something hot, man. You need yeah. something hot, man. Yeah, he was a Mexican. Even Longoria's in that movie. Shout we out got spicy Cheetos. No, that's not spicy. That's not spicy. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to put the chiles in there. We got to put the chile, the really chiles in there. You know? We, look, we eat hot stuff. <laughs> All that time, so we kids, we kids, we little babies, we get pepper, we get chili. That's a fact. They call them chiles, everything chili. <laughs> man, shout out to challenges, man. You know what I'm saying? They keep things interesting. You know what I'm saying? The whole world is basically a competition. You know what I'm saying? It's not, not as you should treat it like one, but you know what I'm saying? There's people that got the same dreams as you. And, there's not that many spots. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. <laughs> the way you really want to do it, you know what I'm saying? That's the right. they call it the art of war, but sometimes it's oh, really she was dope. the director. That's why I said that shit. Even Evelyn Longoria. Yeah, yeah, okay, so okay, okay that's fine. Put it out and shit. Yeah, yeah. She didn't want to put it out and all that. Shout, Shout out to her, her fine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Still doing good. That's <laughs> oh my good. god, you are going back to all those full circuit with the Spurs. You know, Tony Parker had that mm. fumble. Oh, that that one. I'm thinking even Mendes. No, no, no. Evil and Gordon. She fine, too. Yeah, yeah. Evil and Gordon, yeah, she been, she was cute, cute fine. She cute fine. Like, like Evil, that, that, that name, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Shout out to all of them though. Flaming hot Cheetos, man. Word, man. I ain't eat them. Like I said, it's been a month for all that. Yeah, um, man. Agua and, and Gatorade. I know Gatorade ain't that good neither, but. Yeah, no, they say Gatorade ain't <laughs> shit for nothing. Mad sugar. Right. But they say even the Gatorade Zero got like fake sugar and it's shit no, worse. Everything, all that shit. You know they on your boy with the pride. I don't know they how that's my that boy, shit. but yeah. You know, your boy with that prime. I heard because it got that fake sugar in it. Yeah, it was like it's six cups of coffee or some shit. And, what, and once you're doing your thing, you know, somebody got to throw some type of shade in there. I don't know if caffeine worked for me. I don't know. It's not supposed to be caffeine, right? It's not It's not really caffeine. I don't even know. I, but I, I feel the same way with you. I don't think. Because it was six cups of coffee. I drank those shits before. It ain't give me no energy like that. I don't that's, know. that's what I'm saying. Like, But I never had coffee, though. Uh, so the only, like, like I said, I think, <clears throat> like I said, I drink them. You know what I'm saying? I drink a lot. I, you know, I drink my drink. My drink now. You know, I, if I'm gonna drink them, I do my Celsius. You know what I'm saying? But I heard Celsius type of same thing, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Celsius, they is, all pretty much. It's the, the healthiest one out of all the energy drinks. But most of them, like I said, they don't, like I said, when I be having them Red Bulls, you know, like uh, I gotta drink a couple of them joints to do anything. Like in flavor. I yeah, you know what I'm saying for real. Like I don't think the only thing that did something was me. To, it was one of the Mountain Dew brands. Kickstart. Nah, Kickstarter. I was on a Kickstarter for a minute too, but it was like, and then like, you know, how they got like the great can, like they got the different brands of energy drinks. Mm-hmm. One of those, I had one of those before a softball game, nigga. I'm listening. I'm listening. I gotta find my life, man. Nigga, <laughs> right here. That shit was um, that shit had me on the rocks. Out of all the energy drinks, I said like, I ain't drinking that shit. No what is what it was again? It was a Mountain Dew brand though. I got it from Target. I don't know. It was like in the gray can. Like I said, they got different flavors and different kinds. But I don't know which one was it. I know what you're talking about. But God damn. That's I the only energy before. drink that ever got me twisted. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like for real. Like I was like, oh, okay. This is what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For real. All that that's other stuff. It. That's how I felt the first time I got high. Yeah. <laughs> you know you had it, right? <laughs> nah, man, because you know, I smoked and shit. Oh shit, I'm right on the lake. I smoked and shit, but like I never used to inhale right. Like I used to just yeah, think you I hold it in and blow it out. Yeah, I think so my dog, my dog sat me down with me one time. He was like, nah, this is and then you know taught me to hunt shit. I'm like, oh, this would have feel like right, exactly. <laughs> when you inhale the right way, that's a fact. No, that's a, I think that's everybody was you know, first time smoking or just smoking in general when they first my name was just doing like I do a cigar, like like you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't really smoking it, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you get that, you get that all through your system. It's to be like, yo, Dre taking a big ass hit. Not knowing I ain't even in heaven. Nah, you ain't doing that, right? I wasted all y'all weed. My bad. Yeah, it was saying. Reggie. It's okay. It's right, okay. That's what I'm saying. Back in the days, yeah, definitely. That's you. Right, yeah, everything was Reggie, but it cost money at that time, too. You know what I'm saying? We all got design now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything is everything. No, I don't trust none of that shit, dude. Yeah, because you got that fatty wild going around, man. Yeah, it's fake everything, bro. You got that shit. It's crazy on these streets. Bro. That fatty wild. I don't even know. Like, why just, why do people play? It got to be some evil people in this world, man. We just be trying to chill. You go put that fatty wild in that shit, man. Good yeah, boy, man. Dog. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sad but true. Now, you know, you know, always been a little bit like that, you know what I'm saying? When niggas you put shit in crack and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? But well, my nah. boy, well, my boy Cassio Jigs, shout out to Cassio Jigs, on site battle league, our statesman in the block. My boy Cassio Jigs <coughs> said, I ain't even got to shoot you. I could just put glass in your line. <laughs> Tell you, man. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's crazy. It's a cold world, man. <laughs> they said that's what the slaves used to do sometimes. They put uh, 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 glass in, like, uh, 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 the. the the uh, biscuits. Yeah, they glass. bake the biscuits, put glass shit, in it. Yep. Fuck your whole. Scratch everything Scratch up. Scratch everything, all this shit up, yeah. And like you said, he put it in here, you sniff that shit. Fuck exactly. You know Cutting up your brain. Yeah. Doing all that shit. I so was yeah. like, yeah, it's wild. So shout out to him, though. Shout out to the whole Battle League. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Upstate. Yeah. All right, so I got some quick, just quick little um, start, bench, and cut, man. Let's do it. I just made up a couple little just random joints, you know what I'm saying? I think this one probably been out there, but you got all these members all in their prime. So you got D. Rose, John Morant, Russell Westbrook. Mm. Start, bench, and cut. All of them. Okay, prime. so I got to vote all three of them. Um. <clears throat> I 
I got to stop. I mean, all in their prime? All in their prime. You think John Moran hit his prime yet? Mm, that's a question. You know what I'm saying? Still answer yet. Cause Cause that, third that might, year, right? Third, fourth year. That's what I'm saying? Because he might just all the technicality for me be cut. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to bench Russ, and then I'm going to have to start D-Rose because – Cause he used to beat up on my Miami team. I mean, we used to get him back, you know what I'm saying? But he used to stress me out, man, when I used to watch him. He, it's like no matter what you did, he was so explosive for his size. And he was making it. If you, if you let him get within five feet of the basket, he, the ball is going in. That's a fact. As a point guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know. My guy. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. I already know. No, you know, I know. know. But yeah, and yeah. I'm mentioning Russell Westbrook just off of technicality, too. Because honestly, like you said, all three of them can't really shoot like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a push. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Like you said, Brian Rose, like, you know, I'm a Bulls fan. So you already know. And Westbrook is one of my favorite players, you know what I'm saying? And you said, Ja ain't there yet, you know what I'm saying? But that, that was easier than, when, you know, probably what you was thought about, you know, like I said. All right, so now he's taking it this time. We'll, we'll, we'll scoot the football real quick. All these players in their prime. Maybe you watch some of these players or heard some of these players or watch some of the highlights. You know, I'm a little older. Here. But I try to keep it neutral, not the regular. Now, that, that last one was kind of regular. But you got Terrell Davis. Remember Terrell Davis? Mm-hmm. Okay. Larry Johnson. Mm-hmm. And Sean Alexander. All in their prime. I'm cutting Sean Alexander just because he eliminated my boys. You <laughs> <laughs> want MVP, man. I don't care. Yeah, I used to not like MVP, him. Man. I used to not like him for some. I, I just didn't like how he used to run the ball. I'm a running back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I used to have just. It was effective, but I used to just hate watching him run the ball. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, yeah. So that's an automatic cut for me. So th- 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 what was the other two again? Um, Terrell, Terrell Davis, Davis and, and Larry Johnson. And Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson is interesting because you said it's like, again, it's like a job thing. His prime came like so random. <laughs> like That's what I'm saying. It, right. it was like, he was, a, was it a prime or was it just like a bow of lightning type shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but like I said, <clears> when he said he prime, it could be anything. In two years, he whatever. Did. Like, he did a great season in like thirteen games or some shit, right? Like yeah, he went nuts for two of the years. But it was like when he first came in, it was only like he only played in a certain number of games, and he had like seventeen hundred yards. Nah, he went nuts. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? But in that case, though, I am gonna bench him because he like he came off the bench to get that. You know what I'm saying? So he might need that still. To get them numbers, so he might still have to come off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like bench players is different. No game plan against them. You know what I'm saying? He did it for the whole season. They got the game plan together, but he he on the bench. So that means him start Terrell Davis. Cause the one thing I know about Terrell, I watched him a little bit with, with Terrell Davis. What I do know about him is when he came in the league, he went crazy. Or, or when he started going crazy, he was going crazy every crazier every year. Every year, and it was just boom, adding up, adding yeah, up, yeah. adding up. His um, name was just literally TD. That's why they call him TD. You know what I'm saying? Like he got them touchdown. He was the same same thing. Like he, ain't, I take Larry Johnson fires like, cause his style was just crazy. Like he just went and came nuts. Like you said, he was an anomaly. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and TD was just consistent. Like he could, just, you know what I'm saying? He was that hard runner. So I agree on your thing. You know what I'm saying? But all right, it's, you know, so it's baseball. All Star Game and all that. You got Manny Ramirez, Vlad Guerrero, and Albert Pujols. Um. Mm. I think it's nice. Those pipes. I'm starting Manny. Starting Manny, okay. Because Manny played the field better than Pujols. Okay. Pujols got the bat on the undeniable 700 club. No, you, you was talking about the hit. You say you said Manny? Manny. I'm saying, I'm talking about, we was talking about the hits. You said Manny? Remember we had that other question? I think I said Manny. You need one hit or whatever? Manny or Miggy, one of them. Yeah, I, I said Miggy. Yeah, yeah. You said Manny. I think I, think I said Manny. But I'm starting Manny because he played the field too, though, like. Mm-hmm. He was a spark in the outfield too. He get wild sometimes. Mm-hmm. I seen a highlight the other day where he 
ran up the wall and high fived the fan and then threw the ball. Yeah, like he's <laughs> wild. That boy, you know wild what I'm saying? But the bat too is undeniable. He's not in the seven hundred club like Pujols, but Pujols don't do nothing mm. in the field. Mm. Not never really did nothing in the field like that. You play first, you know, play a solid first. Place. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you still first. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, um, Vlad, Vlad was exciting, but Vlad always been like. Did you catch a lot of Vlad? Or? I caught a little bit. I caught. I remember when he hit the ball off the ground. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he's fam- famous for the no gloves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I think I'm still cutting him though. Still gonna cut Vlad? Yeah. yeah. Seven hundred home run clubs. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm starting pool holes. Oh, I yeah, have Manny on the bench. I'll cut Vlad too. Just because Vlad was, if you look at, I'm looking at, I look at the whole thing. Like I said, Vlad wasn't exciting, but he was that nigga. Like you said, he had hit on the floor. He hit, and they tried to intentional walk him. Like he one of them cats that just tried to hit. He was raw dog, but. You know, you had to figure They tried to intentionally walk and he swung still. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah he hit a base hit. Shit. <laughs> Nigga hit a base hit. They had to try to touch the walk. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Vlad was raw. Like you say, he played the field, though, too, though. He played the right yeah, field. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Had that gun, throw yeah, people out and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But, like I said, I'll take the machine, though. And then Manny, and then. Everybody, he Bo Jackson, so. Seen highlights of him on Twitter and shit. Cannon, son. Just, Flat footed catching the ball, right field, throwing the third on a line. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you know, all the was throwing people out for now. Like I said, Pujols played a good, like I said, first you still got to have a good first baseman, man. I don't care what you're talking about. It ain't the hardest position, obviously, but you know what I mean? Definitely need, just, just need it, though. Like I said, Manny, everybody feared Manny. Like I said, yeah, for, other than home runs, yeah, for average. Like, you know, like Vlad. <clears throat> Like Vlad sometimes just hitting home runs, his average was like you be like, damn, this nigga hitting two thirty. But he had forty home runs or something, thirty home runs. Right. <laughs> but he had thirty stolen bases too, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I definitely do it like that though, for sure. All right, man. Well shit, man. Yeah, episode one seventy one, man. We mm-hmm. on fan T V. This is the fan perspective podcast. For sure. We did a hot dog ear competition today. Yeah. We did a flaming hot Cheeto challenge today. Yeah, we talked about the All Star game. Yeah, we talked about the number one pick. Yeah, in the NBA. Yeah, we ain't talking about we ain't talking about that all white billionaire party with them freak boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you get into the room when you get a lot of drunk motherfuckers. Niggas be doing shit, buddy. Man, man they was in the private jet sharing a blanket. Man, come on now. I ain't say too much more, but yo, man, it's your boy Henny Trey. <laughs> John, John, man. <laughs> and this is the, the fan perspective. perspective. And we out. Did you heard? Peace. No more hazing, man. No more hazing. No, definitely. We ain't even get into that. <laughs> we ain't gotta get into that. No more hazing, man. Say it, huh? <laughs> <laughs>